Hey guys, as promised, today I have the video of the battery test of iOS 11.1.2 versus iOS 11.2, which was released yesterday or two days ago uh, for all iOS devices. Now, there's a few things that I want to go ahead and give you guys information before we begin and taking a look at this test and how it was performed. All devices had the same settings, same brightness, same task were performed. I launched uh, the Safari browser, browsed the web for a little bit. I browsed the App Store for a little bit, and that's it. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi was enabled on all devices. And I do want to go ahead and start with iOS 11.1.2. Okay, so from left to right, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 Plus, 7 Plus, 6 Plus, and SE. The first device to die was the iPhone 7 Plus with 4 hours and 45 minutes, followed by the iPhone SE with 5 hours and 25, then the iPhone 8 Plus with 5 hours and 35, and then we have the iPhone 6 Plus with 5 hours and 40 minutes. The winner here is the iPhone 10 with 7 hours. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is not going to be the exact same time that your device will last as you use it every day. What you have to add is the extra amount of time from one software to the other, okay? So if I tell you there's 20, 30, 40 minutes of extra on-screen time, then add that to your daily usage of your device, and that's how much extra battery time you could see with a software update or decrease. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at iOS 11.2. So from left to right, again, iPhone 10, 8, 7, 6, and SE. So the first device to die was the iPhone 7 Plus with extra 20 minutes. It died at 5 hours. So we also have the iPhone SE with an extra 20 minutes of on-screen time as well, 5 hours and 45. Then we have the iPhone 8 Plus, again, 20 extra minutes of on-screen time, 5 hours and 20 minutes. Then we have the iPhone 6 Plus, which also had approximately 20 minutes of extra on-screen time. The only device that really dropped an entire hour of extra on-screen time was the iPhone 10 in iOS 11.2. So unfortunately, the iPhone 10 was the only device to suffer on the software update. You may see a decrease of 45 minutes or more. When you update to 11.2 uh, on the iPhone 10, every other device, you'll see a small increase in the battery performance. And there you guys have it. That was a quick video time lapse of the battery test of iOS 11.1.2 versus iOS 11.2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot of time put into this video. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.